What's up guys, it's me at Voice T Random here, and in today's video I'm gonna be doing an updated or should I say like full fragrance review on Day for Men by Fragrance One, which is Jeremy Fragrance's house uh, or fragrance brand. I'm gonna have to mention one thing, with the price it's still not worth it, but I do have to say a few things about it and just give you an overall breakdown of what I think after trying it out. So if you guys didn't see that uh, first impressions video I had on it, I did a first impressions, I'll link it down below. I suggest checking that one out first because some things have changed since the first impression and what I think of it and also the price is just a staple right now where it's the factor that's not making it worth it no matter how good it is. To be honest, at the, the quality of the smell and how it is, I don't think it's worth 248 uh, I think it's yeah yeah 247.99 it's not worth it. I'm gonna say just basically what I think of this fragrance and give you an overall fragrance review so date for men I'm gonna say the notes first uh, to let you guys know top notes are mandarin bergamot lemon artemis artemisa cardamom and then the heart notes are ambroxan extreme woods and juniper berry. And then background is musk, patchouli, oud essence, and vetiv. And I'm gonna have a picture of that on the screen just in case I mispronounce some of the stuff like Artemisa. So, day for men. When it opens up, it's kind of the, got this kind of grapefruit Invictus vibe that I get. A lot of you guys compared it to Ultramal, but to me, I think it's similar to Ultramal when Ultramal is at its like mid stage because when Ultramal first opens up it's very sweet very heavily sweet and doesn't compare to date for men but when Ultramal give it like 30 minutes and then that smell that you'll be smelling from Ultramal is similar to the opening of date for men to me date for men has a plus factor to it it doesn't the plus is not let me just eliminate some stuff, the negatives for this fragrance. So the negative, the price is number one. Number two, the uniqueness. This fragrance is not unique at all. It smells like, you know, those Invictus, Ultramal, whatever you want to call them. It's not unique to me. I feel like Jeremy, honestly, I feel like he's a creative guy, but for some reason, these fragrances that he's made aren't displaying I think his true creativity and I feel like maybe 2020 he might change that but I just feel like honestly he could really release a creative fragrance and I don't know why the price is so high on this like I, I just don't know like why would this be so high of a price um I know he said the oud and that but like honestly if I was him I would just make it heavier you know if the oud i want to if i want to feel the price i want to also smell the price too because like this doesn't smell like a 248 dollar fragrance 248 dollar fragrance honestly to me i would probably buy this in the invictus range at discounters which, which is probably like 70 60 dollars maybe 90 100 if it um is like retail price i would say maybe a hundred dollars for this but that would be the max I would pay for this. I don't know why, but I feel like if Jeremy just made his fragrance a little bit cheaper, like maybe a hundred, hundred and twenty dollar range, I don't know if he would be losing a lot of money, but I, I just have no clue. I'm just, you know, thinking out loud here. I would honestly think people would buy this more. Um, because for me, when something is trending and something's at a reasonable price, I'm gonna get it, you know. For example, like I just picked up recently, um, Armaf Milestone. You know, it's it's on the hype. It smells like Melissa Imperial, all that. I haven't got a chance to test it out, but I will uh, release a video shortly because I just received it and you know I wanted to try it out before I actually do. Um, because the first impression for that fragrance is not necessary um i would just i'm gonna do a fragrance review on that one but back to date for men so date for men what are the positives from it um the negatives we've said is a price the uniqueness and positives is a performance now i do have to say it does last quite a bit and they are points in the time of where i wear the fragrance 
that I can smell it and I can smell it kind of clear. You know, it's not one of those that fades away pretty easily. And I guess that can be helpful, but on a date, like, I don't know. I don't really want a fragrance to really be projecting on a date. I honestly see this more of a clubbing fragrance. And I know Jeremy said that he's gonna be releasing a clubbing fragrance, you know, uh, his next release, uh, apart from the two women fragrances that he's releasing, which is the day and the night one. This one uh, has club coming after it. So club for men will be coming. And honestly, I don't know what to expect from that one because this one honestly tops off a club in fragrance. I don't know where he would have to go with that one because to be honest, it probably will smell like day for men unless he changes it way uh, or like changes it big time, you know? Positive performance uh, does last long. Projection's okay at first, but then I kind of feel like the projection kind of fades away, but it stays on your skin for a good um, while. I would probably say I've gotten about a full nine hours, 10 hours of, you know, smelling it on my skin without it actually fading away. So that's pretty good. That's a positive. But the overall thing I think of this fragrance is that it smells like your Invictus, like your Ultrama, like your, you know, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit kind of vibe. But it's not worth the price. And if this was, let's say, marketed for $80, $75 at, you know, if it's like 20% off and it becomes $75, you know, all that, then I would say, okay, this might be worth it because then I would say, would I rather buy Invictus or this one? And I'll probably say this one. But when it's 248 and Invictus is like $60 and like Ultra Miles like what 65 70 at discounters then I would say let's put Ultra Mile at the front foot my overall verdict is the only positive I get from this is that it has performance but at the same time you know Ultra Mile and Invictus do have performance as well so honestly I feel disappointed on saying this but this fragrance is just not worth it the only reason my, the reason that I might wear this is just to see if it can spark anything, you know, if it, if it is really a date for men fragrance. And the only reason, yeah, to experiment, to see if it does actually work, and maybe to do it in comparison videos, like comparing it to Blue Chanel, maybe Invictus, going out on the street and doing that. That's the reason why I would wear this fragrance. Other than that, I hope something changes about the new releases that Jeremy does. For example, lowering the price first, maybe using a, something a little bit different, making it a little bit different, not so mass appealing. Because I know the best strategy is to make it mass appealing because it will sell. But maybe not so mass appealing like smelling like other fragrances, but mass appealing like new mass appealing. Maybe something that smells a little bit similar to other fragrances, but not so similar like how this one is. This one is just, it's just gone a similarity of different mass appealing fragrances and doesn't make it worth it because it has like the top of Invictus, it has the mids of Ultramile and it has like the dry down is not even worth it at that point because it smells like other fragrances the dry down on this one i know people have said they smell a little bit of oud in the dry down but to me it just becomes a slight bit more dark uh, like in terms of it settles down it doesn't change that much I, to be honest i can't really tell the fragrance just stays as is from the top to the bottom but it just settles down more and more and at the dry down, you kind of get this slight bit of like leatherish feel. I don't, it probably is the oud, but it's very slight. It's not anything hugely different. To be honest, I can't even tell there's oud in here. Uh, it's just those heavy bubblegummy, uh, grapefruit, mandarin, bergamot, ambroxan, all those notes, I think dominate over the oud. Yeah, it doesn't make it as worth it if you're gonna say, you know, this has oud in it. And yeah. I know if, if you guys like this fragrance, I'm not hating at you guys, I'm not hating at Jeremy. I'm just giving my honest opinion on this one. I'm trying to tell you guys that if you guys like this fragrance, I'm not hating at you. I'm not hating at anybody. Personally, I'm just hating on what I think of the fragrance. Um, I'm just kind of saying my own opinion. You know, if, if you have your own opinion and you like it, you know, you like it. You know, my... I have a friend that tried this out 
and he liked it and i didn't go ahead and just say yo man you shouldn't be liking this fragrance because it's like uh, very expensive and all that no i was like all right cool you like it that's nice i'm glad someone likes it you know so day for men by fragrance one aka jeremy's uh fragrance house um i would say it would get a rating of five out of ten obviously price um appearance you know the bottle is a huge part for me if the bottle is really nice then that also brings up the fragrance a tad bit more because i like to see you know different fragrances on uh in my collection that stand out because this one doesn't really stand out it's just basic it's um, a basic bottle so overall five out of ten for date for men price uh uniqueness and appearance and other factors um, play a part on bringing the score down, but the only thing that kind of makes the score stand up is that it's mass appealing, it's good performance, and it's something that you can't go wrong with if you like that, you know, Ultramile Invictus DNA. So that's been it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are having a good start on 2020, um, you know, completing your New Year resolutions. Uh, I personally don't really have new year resolutions just because i like to live you know every day by day i like to live day by day kind of thing i'm i like to have goals but i think that new year resolutions or new year shouldn't change that and make you make goals you should be having goals every month um, no matter if it's new year thanksgiving whatever you should be trying to get goals every month or every few months i would say at least so a little bit of uh, words from uh, my inner self right there. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this and peace.